a question that we've gotten pretty much every single session we've hosted is the burning of natural gas and you know this technology is consuming gas you're burning natural gas california washington several jurisdictions are banning that and sally i'm going to let you speak to it but there in almost every case there is a place if there is grid constraint and i know this was one of the factors for you guys at the very beginning if we are grid constraint in an area how do you go electric on everything when we're already grid constraint and where does that leave you with future electrification in those areas ev charging in buildings but my service isn't going to be able to handle doing all my heating doing all my electric cars doing all of my cooking everything this is kind of got a sweet spot and you're still greater than 100 percent efficient but i guess to Saleh, is there any thoughts on the the burning of the natural gas component Great question, Ted. Um, yeah, so that's that's exactly why I really want to start my presentation with those four pillars of clean growth pathway because this energy efficiency and gas absorption heat pump is just part of the puzzle as to how Fortis is really looking at decarbonization supporting our customers. So we are investing in energy efficiency and conservation. Uh, uh, in addition, you know, we're looking at um, expanding our renewable gas um, offerings. So these things go hand in hand. And um, one thing that you mentioned is, yeah, I think Ali mentioned that these uh, systems are compatible with a blend of hydrogen, I think up to 20 or 25%, depending on the manufacturer. So that that's definitely a, a pathway for these systems. And to your point, Ted, yes, absolutely. Um, this is not the silver bullet. And we, in our view, electrification is not a silver bullet. These are all tools in our toolbox to, um, to help decarbonize. And depending on your situation, you see which one is uh, most cost effective and mo most relevant to your needs. And one, one example I can give you is uh, a, a hospital in, in the lower mainland in, in you know near Vancouver uh, wanted to uh, electrify and the, at the same time they wanted to you know add to their MRI uh, section MRI machines so obviously as a hospital you have to prioritize the MRI machines so they did that but then they realized that there's no electrical capacity left for any other electrification so although they really wanted to use electric heat pumps they couldn't, so they came to us and we explored the opportunity and, and viability of gas absorption heat pump, and they're actually going ahead with the technology implementing that in that hospital. So that clearly gives you an example of where uh, uh, elect electrical Greek constraints can be a challenge for customers. And you know um, what I say to our customers is, don't think uh, no action is a, is an option. If you can't electrify, then they're definitely other pathways, viable pathways for you toward decarbonization.